Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, God inhabits an old house. In whom all the body fitly joins together, were it unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom also you are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Ephesians 2, 21-22 Within our decaying shell, we constantly peel away by faith the lust and jealousy that adorn the walls of our hearts. If the angels were to throw through the earth with the Creator and axe, which house is yours, Lord? He would pass by all the mansions and cathedrals and all the temples and castles. Unashamedly, he would point at you and say, That house is mine. Imagine the shock and dismay of the heavenly host to think that the God whose face they fan with their wings should choose to live in a shack, a shanty if you will. We know where our greatest conflict lies. We who blunder and stumble in our humanity. We who stagger through our frail existence. We continually wrestle with the knowledge that our God has put so much <laughs> into so little. Yes, it is true. Despite all our washing and painting and all our grooming and exercising, this old house is still falling apart. We buy books and tapes and we desperately try to convince it to at least think differently. But like a squeaky hinge on a swollen door, the result of our efforts at best comes slowly. There's no doubt that we have been saved and there's no doubt that this house is haunted. The Holy Ghost himself reside beneath this sagging roof. Although this tenant is prestigious, the accommodations are still substandard. This divine occupation is not an act of a desperate guest who, having no place else to stay, choose this impoverished site as a temporary place to ride out the storm of some deplorable situation. No, God himself has of his own free will put us in an embarrassing situation of entertaining a guest whose lofty stature so far exceeds us that hardly know how to serve him. The Quote of the Day Although the tenant is prestigious, the accommodations are still substandard. Go today, knowing of all your imperfections and all the things that you were told about yourself that wasn't pleasant, God still chose you as his house. <laughs>